they first met at primary school. Now, what's this fight? Where are we going? Going to the spinny wedding. You've got that thing that I've been looking for. Been running around for so long. Oh, 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 you are making my life much greener. Yeah, yeah. Just say you feel the way that I feel. I feel the sexual. So we should be sexual. Just say you feel the way that I feel. I feel the sexual. So we should be sexual. You got something that I ain't seen before. You've opened a million doors. All I can say is I adore you You got something that I ain't seen before Hold me cause baby I'm yours So I can't wait until we get home You are, you are, you are, you are, you are Everything that I dreamed of Now we can paint our pictures Show it to You are, you are, you are Making my life much greener So I wanna sing We honestly believe Charlotte could not have met a nicer young man. Chris and Sally, your son Mark is an absolute credit to you both. They are so happy together, they are the perfect match. Oh. Welcome to our mad, mad family. <laughs> yes. I can't stress enough for today how that I am the proudest man in the world. Seeing Charlotte so happy and radiant, I'm walking her down the aisle were truly amazing and very, very emotional. They first met at primary school. Now, what's this fight? Fast forward and fast forward years, and they found each other again through Facebook and mutual <coughs> friends, and their love of fast cars. Now, I think their first conversation went something like this. <laughs> Mark said, what sort of suspension do you <laughs> <laughs> Do you like a soft, hard offer? Now, Charlotte replies, first I need to know the size of your exhaust pipe. <laughs> My mum and dad, I'd like to thank you on behalf of myself and Charlotte. You've been so generous to both of us over the years and always been there to support us. You're the best parents I could ever wish for and thank, thanks for the weekly food parcels. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep them coming. <laughs> Therefore, I'd like to make my first toast to family. I'd like to thank the bridesmaids, Amy and Beth, for all their help towards the build-up to our wedding. They look stunning today, as I'm sure you all agree. Thank you for being there for Charlotte throughout the years. It really means a lot. So now I'd like to say a few words about the star of the show and my wife. <laughs> Doesn't she look incredible today? She looks absolutely gorgeous. I feel so lucky to be married to you. You are. <laughs> <laughs> but 
after numerous Facebook messages and trying to seduce her with talk of Honda Civics and VTEC engines, <laughs> she finally agreed to go for a drink. <laughs> we hit it off straight away and it's like we've been mates for years. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect match. I mean, what other girl would be happy with a military exhaust for Christmas? <laughs> Set a Lauren Springs for her birthday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you and buying many more car parts. <laughs> if you could all raise your glasses to my beautiful wife, to Charlotte. Sadly, he can't be here today, but I'm sure he's looking down and enjoying it with us. So I'd just like to say happy birthday, Granddad. Finally, I'll say my best men, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. They put a lot of effort into organising a fantastic stag team for me, and I managed to tick off one thing from my bucket list. Busking with a small pink guitar, <laughs> whilst wearing charity shop clothes to a group of strangers in order to earn enough money to get into the bar on my mater in. <laughs> Thanks for helping me realise that. <laughs> Seriously, these guys have been my closest friends for years and have always been there for me. They stuck with me through thick and thin, and they really are like brothers to me. And I said, they're my best mates, and I'm pleased to have you both in our lives, so thank you. Before I hand you over to these two jokers, though, I just want you to know that they're compulsive liars. <laughs> and whatever they say is not true, unless, of course, it's all good. <laughs> Some of you don't know me, but my name is Jack. I'm one of Mark's best mates. And I'm the other half of that, Mark's best man, the short round one. Charlie. <laughs> I'd like to start by thanking both Nigel and Smith for their lovely speeches. Charlie and I are already married. Sorry, girls. <laughs> <laughs> so we've experienced just how hard it is to organise such a big day. There's a lot of pressure on the bride and groom to make sure everything goes smoothly and their guests enjoy it as well. I think everyone here would agree just how amazing they've done so far. Come on. From the invites to the website to all the little decorations and of course their choice of best men. <laughs> I've done a cracking job. <laughs> Knowing you're about to marry Smitty can't be easy. <laughs> <laughs> so we would like to thank all the bridesmaids for helping with the head party and being by Charlotte's mark side in helping get prepared for the big day. You all look amazing. But of course, nothing compared with the bride herself. <laughs> Jack and I have also tried our best in making sure we've been there for Smitty in the last few months. This included organising his tag do. <laughs> we had planned to have a quiet weekend away relaxing in Bristol's picturesque countryside. It was a chance for Smee to relax and put his feet up. We all know how busy he's been running his own business, organising a wedding, training a new puppy and buying new hats. It was a chance to show how much we loved him. We knew the guys we invited, you guys are there, would complement all the plans with Huff for Smitty to have a bit of respite. He needed to be pampered. Everything we had planned went off without a hitch. His close friends, a quiet, timid, and caring bunch, <laughs> all played their part in bringing a smile to Smitty's face and letting him know how much they loved him too. It was beautiful, it was. <laughs> Jack and I couldn't have done it without you all. Smitty, we hope you had a relaxing weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it was a great send-off to the bridal paper of Marigold. Smitty's love for me started in school, where we met, and I've been holding his little hand ever since. <laughs> <laughs> we were in all the same classes from start to finish. Realising he couldn't live without his tall, athletic guy, <laughs> he even followed me to college. <laughs> college. <laughs> 
At this point, you can say we're officially joined at the hip. And we again took all the same classes and continued to laugh at each other's loud jokes, mainly marks, and stupid jokes, just like best mates do. At the end of college, we have become very close. And mine were into mine. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he probably knew. <laughs> then came university. What would we do? I didn't want to split up a relationship, but I had completely fallen to split <laughs> Insisting we visit the same universities, fate played its part again, and we ended up taking the same course, the same course at university. Third year came. My prayers were answered. <laughs> we found a flat in beautiful Peckham. <laughs> it was our first cosy home to couple. <laughs> and we were delighted. <laughs> Smitty got knocked off his bike one day on the right home while we were drunk. So the lorry came out of nowhere. Do you not know that? <laughs> so the lorry came out of nowhere and wanted to run him over. And I'm pretty sure he was just racing him and he lost. <laughs> he didn't want to admit it. After a while, we realised we needed to actually do some work. And Smitty quickly got into the flow of being a great age student. In my eyes, he was far too busy and paid me no attention. <laughs> the university ended and we had to move out of our flat. The lab pad days were over. Smitty moved back in with Chris and Sally and I stayed in London. Life had to go on. To this day, I wonder what could have been. <laughs> we could have had a job. <laughs> we could have had a joint account. I don't know, get a the tattoos. <laughs> It could have been me who was married today. <laughs> but all jokes aside, ending up in the same class throughout those years may have been a bit, a bit of good luck, but really, I'd like to think it's our strength of our friendship that kept us together. <laughs> He's one of those mates I couldn't see for years and we would always pick up straight from where we left off, which is why he was a perfect choice to be my son Sydney's godfather. To me, myself, myself first met in secondary school at the age of 11. We travelled to school on the same bus and quickly realised we had very similar interests and our romance began. We went through school spending our days goofing off and our afternoons generally riding pit bikes. This is when I started to see a pattern in our relationship and realised Smith, unlike myself, thinks things through. Smith's bike was always clean and mechanically perfect, whereas mine was filthy and lashed together before he drove. <laughs> Off we would go for the day, and for some reason, I usually ended up getting hurt and Smith unscathed. Now this was not only because Smith thinks things through, but he's also slightly wet. <laughs> <laughs> now, Smith was off at my class one at family events for many years, but okay, he take the class one very seriously when he joined me at a party in full drag. <laughs> <laughs> So as, you, oh, it's a drag still. <laughs> so as you can imagine, myself and all his nearest and dearest were relieved when Charlotte came on the scene and confirmed he was still into girls. <laughs> Smitty, we've been together for all these years, and we've always set the bar high. Not just for the work that we do, but for our future friends. You're definitely short of me, <laughs> but I will always look up to you. <laughs>
something that I ain't seen before. You've opened a million doors. All I can say is I adore you. You got something that I ain't seen before. Hold me, cause baby, I'm yours. So I can't wait until we get home. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are everything that I dreamed of. Now we can paint our picture. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are making my life much greener. So I wanna say, just see you feel the way that I feel. I'm feeling sexual, so we should be sexual. Just see you feel the way that. That. You look like a uh, hairspray. I can hear the bell. 